Well, let me throw a few things together. Um, when we dream, if it's what we might call a subconscious dream, then it's from the memories of the past. And you experience, in my case, life when um, I was not aware of God. And of course it's a devitalizing experience compared to my normal life now. So I wake and it's uh, 5.37 now. I've been awake um, about, I don't know, 10 minutes or so. A quarter of an hour. And um, it's dark. I'm laying here in bed. And I'm thinking on a dream. I was thinking, before I mentioned the dream, um, Winged Pharaoh. She does have, of course, a mindfulness for the gods. Um, Artet and uh, uh, the dog, um, was it Nubis or something? I can't remember. The black dog. God and so on, but not the um, person of God we understand from something like the Jesus story. And may I say something like my recordings. And I realize, yes, she was not happy. She didn't have that. Um, lovely company of God. Um, the Jesus God. I don't mean the Christian God quite because, well, that wouldn't be very definite as to what I was talking about because people have a such a varied view of even the Christian God, don't they? But as I understand it from the Jesus story, the contrast of that company with us, that state of being, and if you like, the religion of ancient Europe, um, of ancient Egypt. Well, it's it's lifeless compared. And, you know, she is Pharaoh and so on, but um, the longings and the sadness of life, it's as if it's work and always troubles and battles instead of the loving assurance of our Heavenly Father. So we have to be careful, don't we, that yes, the person we're talking to is perhaps, you know, utterly genuine, but not enlightened, not knowing God. Anything like our God or anything at all, really, quite secular. Or even not so secular, but not really a loving God, not a personal God, not a... If you read something like Winged Vera, there's a great justice in her life. Um... It's a combination of devotion to country, which is patriotism, and to the gods, which really are not too enlightened. And certainly they personify some of the values you have, but you don't have the values quite that You have individual people in your life. I think of my mum. 
she has for long periods of time people that she relates to but no one really that lasts all through her life of course hmm I'm not sure, but what I do want to say is there's a great poverty. I had a dream, I was in a city again. I was... Well, it was... There were demands of job and study and a home and... Um, I seemed to have a wife. But what it didn't have was the loveliness of God in the dream. So I take it and label it as a sort of subconscious memory dream. It battles with the world without God. I'm not sure what happens if you're brought up loving God so that he's there from the beginning. Is your subconscious then godly? I suppose even if you were brought up loving God, your understanding of God, I was going to say must change, hopefully changes, because you're here to develop. You're here to have a better view of God, and hopefully as the years pass, your view of God becomes much warmer, much more loving, much more embracing and complete, and assurance and joy and love and peace and hope um, and blessedness all increase. So if you dream what I might call a memory dream. It's rather poor, by contrast. Do you see? My dreams seldom leave me waking afterwards with a longing for the past, but more with a concern for the dream and much of the concern for the dream is because God is not in it. I seldom have dreams with God in. Now and again something lovely happens in a dream. I'm with someone I love. Hmm. and experiencing their love. Uh, you know, things are good between us. But that is rare. And I was thinking that I dream quite little, not much at all. But since reading the book, Winged Pharaoh, I've been thinking and more sensitive to dreams, like I, I know to some extent a little of the dream that I just had. The sort of feel of the city and losing things and uh, shoes that I'm trying to find and uh, walking uh, to work come university comes where I'm going to have to study and I'm saying well it's easy for me to do this because I'm good at exams I can pass exams and it crosses my mind mm, it's less by exams these days and more by um, continuous assessment which I'm not quite so good at I'm, I'm an expert at passing exams that was my forte that got me through, you know. In the past, in the in the actual past, you know, in my past now, um, I could do exams. 
and of course I could speak publicly, no trouble. Um, so, I'm not sure how much dreams can teach us. More remind us of difficulties of the past. Uh, that hopefully we've overcome now by an awareness of the loveliness and the goodness of God. Love you, Dad. Thank you so much for coming into my life, my mind, my being, abiding with us and bringing us to an awareness of you, Lord, a love of you. Thank you so much. I love you, Dad. Thank you, Dad. You see, it's just a way of saying to him, I love you. Thank you, Dad.